Hello everyone, and welcome to my new redstone testing world. Today, I, I don't know, I was kind of bored, uh, and I didn't really want to record anything. I got the premiere in uh, today, but I got school and I got work, and so it's really hard to uh, keep up the videos. So I've been scheduling them. Today, I was just super bored after uh, school ended. And so I'm just going to show you how I started building this. My own flying machine for a uh, farm, or a melon and pumpkin farm. So m the concept I wanted was the fact that I wanted the piston that's pushing down all this to actually pull it back up as well. So it breaks it and then pulls it back up and puts it back in place. But then nothing else uh, interacts with it. So it's, it's a long one. It's a long boy. It really is. But it's a really good system. So here, let, let's go ahead and get started. Let me get my materials. All right, now that we got our materials, let's go ahead and get started. So step one of this journey is we're going to have to start with the starting system. So what, you, what I did here is I simply just made a pulse to where if I were to press this button, like so, as you can see, it does in fact work. And I, it's pretty easy. And then if I press this button, it comes back. So if I go ahead and, so here's how you're going to do it. So you just observe, observer going into a block, which goes into redstone, which goes into target blocks. Then you're going to put an obsidian block here or whatever uh, non-movable block that you want, then a piston here. Now let's get into the actual flying machine part. So you're going to put a piston here, observer, or let, let's start off with the one line at a time. So you're going to do piston, slime, slime, observer on top facing in towards the piston like that with a piston, an observer and another observer so that it looks like it, they're fate looking at each other real angrily like then you're gonna put slime like so just underneath all of these just four slime like that or slime or honey depending on which uh, layer you're on because this is is a tileable design then you're gonna put a piston on the a regular piston on the end of it with an observer you're gonna get a sticky piston and a fence post. Now this fence post is just going to make sure that it stays in place because it sometimes it likes to glitch out and uh, push it that way. And that's just a fail safe basically. So, oh, I'm sorry. Up here, it's not slime. It's, or it's, it's going to be slime. So these have to be different from one another. So like this, it has to be alternate. So W and an M like that. Sorry about that. All right, then you're gonna put a piston underneath like that and a observer facing into the piston like that. And as, and then you're gonna, if you, if you wanna stop the it, you're gonna have to put a uh, obsidian block about one, two, or one, two, three. So it, there's two block gap and then you're going to go up two and build it. Or you go th over three from the end of your th uh, thing. So if you have a wall like this, you're going to go over one, two, three, and then up two, like so. Then if you want to start it, there's a little tricky system that you have to do. It's not really tricky. It's just not commonly used. Now. Uh, the reason I have to do this is because when I try and start it, uh, start the thing all together, like push it backwards, when I try and do it all together, it just breaks. So let's go ahead and build our farm system. So you're going to make it like a tic-tac-toe pattern like so. And make sure when you're building your, th uh, your thing that your seeds are alternated. So like this row is pumpkins, this one's melons, or melons, pumpkins, so on, so on. 
All right, so as you can see, this is what we got. So this is actually the finished product. That was it. That was everything you needed to do. And as you can see, if I press this button here, it just goes ahead and goes. Now, I did miss something, which was the slabs that go here. And it's just, just put it a block above the, above the, just put it above the dirt blocks or grass blocks, depending on which one you have. Uh, so, so that's, oh, oh, I did not mean to do that. So if I go ahead and grab this and put that there. So now I'm going to have you watch the uh, ending where I actually bring it back because it's a, a little bit weird. Because what you have to do is you have to make, you have to start them all at different times. And that goes down the line. So if I go ahead and do this, as you can see, it's like a wave. Now the reason I have to do this is, uh, well, I don't actually know. I don't understand why it would uh, need to go different times. But if if you you are trying it, it does in fact break every time. I mean, if you try and do it the same at the same time. So anyway, that is our. Uh, pumpkin and melon farm, melon and pumpkin, whatever, however you say it. And I, I, I don't know if this is going to be a continuous thing where I conti I uh, do more redstone because I'm I'm still pretty devastated from losing my uh, old one. Uh, and if you don't know about that, yeah, I lost my uh, lost my redstone world that I worked on for about two years. Um, and which is kind of sad. It's very, very sad because I had so much stuff on there. All my redstone videos were uh, made in that world. And yeah, I, I, I need a new one, I guess. Uh, I don't have any ideas to put in it. I had so many ideas in there that I already had going and ready to, uh, ready for me to start building, but you know, deleted and yeah. Anyway. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.